future. No pressure. Uh, Yamla is with us. Uh, you have a, a new season. Yes. And your show is called? Yamla Fix My Life. Okay. Now, this is really intriguing because you begin a series of shows helping church pastors, specifically in the African-American church, come out of the closet yes. and reveal that they are gay. This yes. is not easy. Let's look at this clip. This isn't anything I want to involve anybody else in. But you've involved five children. <laughs> no! A wife, a mother, a father. And you know how you can heal them? Tell the truth about what you did. Even, Tell the truth about what you did. No Speak on your own pain. And that is what gives people permission to stand in theirs. The truth will set you free. You think this is your business? This is God's business. Oh my God. Now that is strong stuff. <laughs> this is so powerful. Yeah. And you know, it's not really about him being gay. He happens to be gay. What it's about is that he's a minister teaching God's word to God's people and not telling the truth. So it's more about telling the truth and living authentically. His issue just happens to be that he's gay. Secrets. But there has always been, a, it is a matter of interest to people. Within the African American church, there are a lot of preachers who are gay in very conservative churches yes. where gay is looked down on. Yes. So it's not, it, this is not a liberal Episcopal church that we're talking about. No, but it, it's not just the African American church. I happen to be dealing with two African American right. ministers. It's throughout the ministry that people think they have to live a certain way and be a certain way, have a certain image, rather than stand in the principles of ministry, which is truth. And I think the reason why people, why your shows resonate with people is Everyone can take a little something from that. Yes. Everyone's got secrets. Yes. Everyone's hiding something. And that oftentimes is what Keeps really screws broken. you up. Yeah. yeah. And, and when we talk about fix, we're talking about recreating, rebuilding, restoring. Not that I do anything, but that the people take the information and use it to rebuild, recreate, restore themselves in their do own lives. Do you find lives. that oftentimes people have the answers themselves? They always have the but answers. They, but they need you to bounce off of to get there. I, what I do is give people permission to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. What I do is give them permission to know and support Please, them you know, in knowing no. and That's making new choices. You have a real gift. Do you feel you sometimes that you it's something know. bigger than you? I mean, you're giving people such powerful advice and really changing the course of their life. Do you ever feel sometimes you don't know the right words to say, but they come to you from another place? Yeah, well, it's, it's never about me. It is about the other place. Yeah. <laughs> and it is about the words, and it is about how to be with people in the midst of their difficulty without judging them, without condemning them. You know, I will take compassion over condemnation at any time. And this season, we're looking at a lot of issues that we whisper about, that we wonder about, but we don't talk about. Like what? Like gay men in the ministry. Mm -hmm. We're looking at body enhancements and why we do it and, and what brings us Let's to it. Let's talk about the pressure on women. Oh, yeah. The pressure society puts on women, but pressure women put on themselves. Absolutely, because we believe what society says, that our value is in what we look like and how, uh, how we attract other people. So we're looking at that. Right. And we're looking at the depth, the length one woman went to to enhance her beauty. Uh, we're looking at violence among women, mental violence, emotional violence, physical violence among women, which is promoted today uh, yeah. in many television programs. Right. And it's something that never used to be talked about ever. Right. And now we're talking about it. We're also looking at, you know, we have an Olympic fall from grace. Debbie Thomas, the first African-American woman to ever have a create, first African-American mm -hmm. to have a medal in the skating. Winter Olympics, mm -hmm. who has had an epic fall from grace. Uh, what, what happened? What happened? With well, she, she's she, living she, now she in a, a women's shelter. She left Olympics, became yes. one of the few African American orthopedic surgeons, and is now living in a women's shelter. What, what, what wrong here? Well, that's what we're going to look well, at. Well, give us a hint here. <laughs> I, I actually what, didn't what know What goes this, on so, yes. when people aren't prepared for fame and fortune? And when people receive external validation without doing the internal work mm -hmm. for wow. their own value and worth. And then when the cameras are gone, when the validation is gone, what do they do? Mm -hmm. What do they do? I know you spoke to a guy, and this got a lot of attention, who had 30 something 34 children. 34 children. 17, by 17 women. women. 17 different women. Yeah. I mean. Which is another thing we talk about all the time. We've given it a name baby mama, 
baby daddy, Cute not names. parents. Yeah. These but, are parents, right. and, and they're giving, bringing people into life. And then we just walk away? No, I don't think so. Mm. So hopefully through Fix My Life, we'll be able to look at some of the topics and issues that are plaguing right. our world, and our community. And then even simple things like how to talk to a guy. Like if you're a female, like how to talk to a guy. Yeah. And I love this quote. I was reading this to Steve earlier. You said, men think in headlines, women think in fine print. That's right. <laughs> Truer words never spoken. And then what happens is, you know, we're all in the fine print, reading into the headlines, having a relationship with the man all by ourselves. <laughs> he is not involved at all. And we're having this whole big relationship. And what, then getting what right. Did he, what did he mean when he said, he didn't even know what he meant. He's moved on, right? Right. Yeah. And we're making up stuff. So yeah. how to have intimate conversations, how to have hard conversations. We want to look at those issues so that fix So would right. you say you give the men the cliff notes? We read the book and the guys just need like just, the summary. They just get the cliff notes. <laughs> right. But how it work better is if we read it to them. Right, exactly. <laughs> Season premiere of Ayanla Fix My Life airs a week from Saturday. It's on OWN. Thank you. Thank you, Fab. Are we fixed? Thank you. Oh, you feel fixed? I feel better just having you. Thank you. Your voice is very soothing. <laughs>